Hey guys, it's Kat of the Naturalista Files, um, which is now the New York Naturalista, but you can find me either way, having something in a Starbucks cup, and um, just chilling. I'm just uploading a video right now, and um, I'm uploading a video to a random vlog. I'm more into random vlogs than I am, like, predetermined, planned out video vlogs. Like, I'm more into that. Um, my life is kind of all over the place. So, um, yeah, I'm just, like, into talking about whatever, you know? So, in the last video, I talked about, like, a little bit about school. Um, I promise you it won't be boring, and I promise you the quality will get better. This is just from my webcam right now. My camera that I will be using for vlogging is here, okay? This is the camera that I will be using. It's a Sony CyberShot 7.2 megapixels. It's about four or five years old, but it does the job pretty well. I will be using that, like, to either do weekly vlogs or daily vlogs. If I do daily vlogs, it's going to be super tiny, like, really tiny. Um, or if I do, like, weekly ones, they'll be more considerable in length. Um, I just kind of take you on my journey and whatever I'm thinking about in the world. Why did I make this video? Um, I just felt like talking, actually. Sometimes you just need to talk, you know? Like, you need people to talk to. Um, and I don't really want to, like, get on here and be another person that does a million videos about hair. We all have hair growing out of our scalp, unless we have alopecia, right? So, there's so many people that do it better than me, and I used to do that game, I used to do that thing, I had another channel before this channel, and it was all about that, and I don't really care about it anymore, like, I'm, you know, I cut my hair a million times in 2012, and now I'm growing it back, I say buzz it off again, and now it's, like, taller at the top, more tapered at the sides, and I'm growing it back, like, it'll grow, it's hair, so, whatever, right? Um... But I guess I want this to take more of a direction about just, like, just important stuff. Like, things that I see in the world and things that I want to talk about. And, like, you know, I'm like, anything, you know? It can be serious. It can be funny. It can be ratchet. It can be fashion-y. It can be makeup-y. It can be hair stuff. Not so much hair stuff, but a little bit of hair stuff. It can be whatever I'm friggin' feeling, really. Um... So right now, like, you know, I mean, there were certain images out there of young black women in their 20s and, like, 30s, and I don't really agree with a lot of them, and I don't really think I fall into any of them, and I just want to kind of chronicle my own life, what it looks like at the moment, you know, because, you know, I'm a non-traditional age student, I'm 32 years old, I went back to school two years ago, um almost now three years ago, two and a half years ago I went back to school and um, quit my very, very, very well paying beauty industry MAC cosmetic job and to go back to school to be a student, like a full time student. And I know it might be hard to believe but like I was that girl. I was that diva honey. And now, I'm still a diva, but I'm using other parts of my brain that I haven't used. That it didn't, it didn't require me to use as much of it. And I'm just happy with where I am right now, you know? Um, I did my whole community college thing, and then I transferred out to a private, almost Ivy League school, where I'm at right now. I just finished my first semester there. I'm a junior, and I have... Um, I'll be graduating in 2014, so that's exciting to finally get my bachelor's degree. And then going on to, God willing, a PhD program. And own that shit. Own that motherfucker. Yes. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of people that don't really know what their options are or are not really sure about school and think that being an academic or being an intellectual is uncool. But I'm really cool. I'm the coolest bitch you'll meet. Like, I am. Like, I've been there, done that. Like, I can float both sides of the boat, you know? 
I can be like in Marc Jacobs one day or Chanel and then be in Uggs and like Madewell jeans the next day and be casual. Um, I can kind of do whatever or put on a pair of Tim's and like be cool with it. Like, I mean, I come from the five boroughs in New York City. Like, I come from New York City. I'm Caribbean by nature, as most of you know already. Um, so I can kind of float in and out of any world with a little bit of ease, you know? So, like, I feel like I have a right to talk about anything and talk about everyone. <laughs> um, but that was not the point of this video. Um, I feel like I need to just be more of myself. Like, I want this to be, like, a chronicle for me to look at later on of what I was thinking at any given moment and, like, just put it down, like, you know, soul singers put it down on cellulite and, like, put it down and, like, you could feel where they were at and what the temperature was in the in the United States and what was going on globally, like, you could feel that shit. I just kind of want to do that a little bit here, because, you know, not everyone is all about hair and makeup and fashion all day, every day. And to those that are, I applaud them because they must have a bank account that's really fat and they don't have to think about anything else. But I am not of that ilk. I, you know, really want to change the world. And I know that a lot of people say that or think that's hokey. But y'all don't really know me in, like, real life, you know? And I'm, I'm about what I say. I'm, I'm serious with it, like, you know, it was definitely more profitable for me to stay where I was and continue working, and I could have retired there, but for me, there are things that I need to do in the world, there are things I need to do, there are people that I need to impact, there are things I need to be involved in, and, and I gotta do it, you know, I gotta do it, so I kind of feel like that's where this channel is going, you know, um, I rep for the over 30 crowd, for well, the brown and proud crowd. I rep for the short natural hair crowd. I rep for the, ooh, she got some curves crowd. I rep for the, she ain't a size two no more, she put a little weight on crowd. You know what I mean? I rep for the conscious crowd. I rep for the, for the ratchet crowd. I rep for the, I don't give a fuck crowd. I rep for the, she don't like white boys crowd. I rep for whoever. Like, I'm me. I'm never going to be anything else, you know? Um, so this will kind of just be like a fifth. Just be a little bit of cat all the time. A little bit of kill a cat. Kill a cat does whatever she wants to do. Kill a cat doesn't always follow popular expectations. Kill a cat is like whatever the fuck she wants to do. And, and whatever she chooses to do, she does it well. That's what Killer Cat's all about. And if you didn't know, I'm Killer Cat. <laughs> um, Killer Cat lives every day like if it's a music video. And, like, she could bust out into, like, you know, musical theater at any point in time or, like, a Glee set, you know? Like, Killer Cat does whatever she wants to do and says whatever she wants to say, but is considerate and kind and respectful. But if she needs to check you, she'll check you. Like, that's kill a cat. Kill a cat sensitive and kind. Most of the time misunderstood for being arrogant and for being a brat and for being childish. But kill a cat cares about everybody. Kill a cat will put her neck on the line for principle, even if she won't gain a thing. Kill a cat will do whatever she needs to do to make something better for somebody else. You know, even if it's not a, something that's acceptable or appreciated in the moment. Even if it takes 20 years. Like, Kill a Cat is all about that, you know? Kill a Cat does what she wants to do. And Kill a Cat is reaching for more in life. And trying to go all the way. All the way. Like, Kill a Cat is trying to go all the motherfucking way. Not just half a way or 10% of a way. But all the motherfucking way is kill a cat. Kill a cat wants to go where you didn't think she could go and then want to go some more. That's what I'm about, you know? It's about my grind. It's about my hustle. It's about what can I do next. It's about who can I bring with me, you know? How can we do this together? How can we make change happen? It's about going back to old values and old principles and throwing it in with some new school shit. That's what kill a cat's about.
if you're here for that, if you want to rock with it, if you like it, if you like what you're feeling, what you're hearing, what it sounds like, stay with me. Because Killer Cat is about doing whatever the fuck she wants to do. And sometimes I use foul language, and sometimes I don't. It doesn't really matter, though. You gotta live your life how you want to live it. You gotta go for the things you want to get. You gotta work hard. You gotta play hard. You gotta live hard. You gotta love hard. And you gotta be ready to attack. But you gotta be ready to embrace. So, I don't really know what I'm talking about right now. I just want everyone to kind of see where they're at. And like, even if it's the depths of something low, or you like at your peak, I want you to feel where you at. I want you to just embrace it. I want you to be like, all right, what's next? What's next? You can't be held down forever. You won't be held down forever. There's a glory right ahead. There's more coming for you. There's everything you want, anything you want, can be yours. I am an indication of that. That whatever I personally give up something, throw something to the wayside, take a risk, step out on face, I never lose. And I will never lose because of that. I will never lose. Ever. You gotta do what scares you. And, yeah. Applying a this school, getting in, applying a what's coming ahead, and I release, and like, why not me? Everybody else doing it, and they not a as qualified as me, why not me? It's not arrogance, it's knowing what you are, it's knowing who you are, knowing what you have to offer. Yeah, I'm ready, I want to do it, you know? So I feel like, whatever is important for you, and I mean you, whoever's watching this, you gotta go for it. You gotta go for it. You cannot put time on the back burner and be like, I got time. Cut tomorrow's promise to no one. You gotta fight hard. You gotta love hard. You gotta do hard. You gotta go all the way motherfucking in. And that's about it. This video is way longer than I intended it to be. It's turning out to be a sermon. I mean for all that. I ain't been to church in about a year. But, you know what I'm saying. Right? You get it? I hope so. Talk to you guys later. Bye.